Northwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So today we got a brand new arrival here. It is a 2022 Logan Bullseye Four Horse Gooseneck. Now this Bullseye model has been a really popular seller for us here over the last couple of years in bumper pulls and goosenecks. Uh, you know, their standard is a two horse and three horse in a bumper pull with a stock combo option as well, and then a two horse straight load warm blood. And then on the gooseneck side, it's a three and four horse with a stock combo option, and then again, a two horse straight load warm blood. But this, this model here, again, has been a really popular seller for us. It's really well equipped. Uh, it's a good price point on the trailer as well. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing of this trailer so I can kind of give you some specs on it. So it's seven foot tall, that's standard on a Logan. It's six, nine wide on these bullseye models. This one is 21 foot three on the floor. Again, a four horse, a five foot short wall uh, tack room on this trailer. But as you can see on the drawing, we've got dual doors. So a door on each side for the tack room itself. So when we're talking about these Logans, we're talking about a galvanized steel frame, aluminum body. So we have the strength of that steel. It's galvanized, so it's not gonna rust like black steel will. Uh, it, loose, it lightens it up and gives it a nice finished look to it by having the aluminum sides on it. And then when we're dealing with warranty on this, it's an eight year structure warranty with a two year hardware. If you're the first owner of this trailer, you have a lifetime corrosion warranty with that galvanized steel frame. But let's talk about how this is equipped because this is a really cool and unique trailer from the standpoint of those dual tack doors. It's almost like, uh, you know, a lot of times we've actually gone away from driver's side tack doors as the only entrance uh, because what we try to do is we're trying to avoid you being on the side of the road and having that tack door on, on that busy side, that traffic side on, on street side. So we usually have, you know, put a lot of emphasis on putting the tack door on, on curb side. So if you do have to hop in and maybe you've got, you know, items to change a spare tire or something like that, you know, we're dealing with that uh, curb side of the trailer. So again, away from traffic. But this one's really cool because it's got the dual doors. So the dual door, doors are really cool from the standpoint of we can tack, you know, on either side of this trailer. You know, maybe there's a, a you know, maybe your least favorite child you'd put on the opposite side of that tack door and make them walk around with their saddle all the way around the trailer to, to, to saddle up. To where this now, again, you can access everything from one side. So maybe you have one side of the trailer, your spouse, uh, maybe that least favorite child can now, he can get his, his saddle from that other side as well. But by having the dual access doors, it makes it really, really nice and easy when you're dealing with these trailers. Before we jump into that, let's look under here underneath the gooseneck. You'll notice this vortex lining. So this vortex lining is really incorporated throughout this trailer. It's a bed liner. Uh, so it's really strong, it's really durable. Uh, you know, we're dealing with road blast underneath this gooseneck. You know, you're not gonna have the big dings in it like you normally would. Um, I'll never say never. I mean, a, a certain rock at a certain velocity could do it. Uh, but again, it gives a lot of strength. Uh, I think it gives it a nice finish look as well. You're dealing with a manual hand crank jack underneath there, single leg. It is spring, spring assist as well. So when we pull that up, it will uh, actually retract into it. Uh, we also can store our manual uh, the actual handle for the manual crank jack right here. This also doubles as a lug wrench. So again, if you do have to change a tire, you can just go look for that rather than your four way or something along those lines. Underneath the gooseneck as well, you've got an LED light here. I mean, we understand you do have your, your cargo light uh, in the bed of your truck on the back of the cab there but it also will get, you know, kind of interfered with with the front of the trailer to where here you actually have a light. You can, you know, kind of pivot that in different directions so you can get some light coverage in the back of your truck, but then also when you're actually hooking up. So let's take a look at this front tack room and, and I'll show you what I mean here. So first we're over here, obviously on passenger side. I have the saddle rack actually swung in right now but it's really easy to use. It swings out four tier. So you have four pads and on the opposite door, you have four as well. I'll show you that here in a minute. 
But as you can see, it's really easy to access your saddles and then swing it in. And since this is a five foot short wall, you know, it really makes this tack room really big. Uh, you know, normally these are a two foot short wall to where here we've gone in, added a little bit more length to it. Gives us a ton of floor space in this front tack room. Carpeted the deck, the gooseneck drop wall and the floor. Uh, you've got dual windows, so a window on each side of the gooseneck, LED light in the front. So you can throw a mattress up here, a bedroll, you can see out, you can get some air movement through here, get a cross breeze. Uh, but as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and swing this one in so you can, when both of these are in this tack room, you still have space to move up here at the front. You can slide through there. Back behind is quite a bit of room behind these uh, saddle racks as well. You can see your bridle hooks on the partition wall with carpet behind them. And then you've got a corner water tank. That corner is always kind of a little bit of a wasted space. So let's go ahead and put that water tank in there. Um, this is a gravity feed. What I would personally do with this is I would put a hose on it. I mean, all of us have kind of some old hoses around there. Cut it down to where you can go ahead and attach it to the bottom. And then I'd put a ball valve and I'd make it to where it's long enough to get out this door and fill up a bucket right there but then you're not actually having to come in here and then lug it out. Um, that way you can just kind of drape that hose out, fill up a bucket, turn off the ball valve, and then set it right in here. But there's you know, quite a bit of floor space in this tack room by it being a five foot short wall. But again, it just gives you that ability to access you know, saddles, bridles, all your tack on either side of this trailer. On this bullseye model, with this one here, we have a four-tier blanket pull rack and then a brush tray on the door. So one of these is standard. Now, obviously, we've changed this tack room to have those dual doors, so we've mirrored you know, each side of the trailer to match that. But what I want you to notice, I want you to notice this door. So this door is square at the top. This is all framework between the edge of the door and the window here. So this is a nice heavy duty door. Uh, if it's rounded at the top, it's a prefab door. Those doors are really lightweight. It's like a piece of paper in your hand when you're going to open and shut it. Uh, on those prefab doors, I tell customers, you need to go ahead and lock the door because the right bump will actually get that guy to pop open as you're driving down the road. But these heavy duty doors are a lot stouter. You know, you have your welded hinges. Uh, it's a real nice seal you feel the weight of the door in your hand when you go to shut it and then also there's a drip rail at the top of it so as you know here in colorado when we're dealing with um you know obviously rain and snow as snow melts you know those items that that snow can melt and that liquid can get in the top of those doors and then overnight we can freeze here in colorado i mean we can have major temperature differences well then it your tack doors sealed up because it's frozen uh, that drip rail will get that moisture away from it so it'll alleviate that issue this is a gray slate color, so standard's white, but it's a gray slate, so it's just kind of a, a lighter gray. But I think it works really well with a lot of the newer picks up, pickups, and then you include, obviously, the aluminum uh, that kind of blends in. It, again, it really works well with these newer pickups. We upgraded to aluminum wheels on this trailer, so steel is standard. We upgraded to aluminum. Again, it's a nice trailer. It's got a nice set tack set up. It's a good four horse. Uh, let's go ahead and dress it up a little bit more with those aluminum wheels. Two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles, 16 inch wheels. You've got your four bus windows, good size bus windows on hip wall here. Four exterior tie rails on this side. You'll also get them on the other side as well. And then a load light, an LED load light up at the top. So there's load lights all the way around this trailer. So we have one on each side of the trailer and one at the rear. And they're all on a switch. So it's real easy to use. You get the coverage. Obviously, since we have dual tack doors and tie rings on each side, you're gonna have that to where you have horses tied on either side. And then obviously we do a lot of stuff at night and early morning. So let's have some light coverage on these trailers. Dual 50-50 doors, they are independent. The right hand door actually has a little bit of a weather strip there, uh, just to that where those two doors meet. Uh, it's not 100% sealed, so let's go ahead and put that weather stripping there 
to you know eliminate some of that moisture and and road grime kind of swirling at the back of the trailer trying to go in that air gap there but again independent so you can open one or the other on the floor of this trailer it's a wood floor that's also been vortex lined now i'm not going to tell you that you're never going to have to replace a board on this trailer uh, but there's a pretty good chance you're probably not going to have to because of that vortex lining that stuff is really really stout again really durable it's going to give a lot of life and longevity to those boards underneath here and then again you notice all the vortex lining we talked about that underneath the gooseneck you know you see it here on your uprights you see it on your on your kick wall you saw it on the back doors um, at the SEMA show they took a cinder block and they vortex lined it and they threw it off a three-story building and it bounced that's how durable and stout this stuff is but again you got your kick mats you've got your uh, slam latches here with this paddle latch so it's real easy to shut these open them and and get them out of the way so you have the padded dividers they also have these snaps here that I can go ahead and I can open all of these up if I want and again have them out of the way this way they're actually attached to the wall the back one is and then we attach them to themselves as we work up so now if you wanted to load horses you're not having to hold that divider open um, but maybe you also want to haul something else maybe you want to throw a, a mare and a foal in here and have them kind of you know more of a box stall uh, maybe throw a four-wheeler or something like that in here you know you can do that get them out of the way if you want to remove them you can they're really easy to, to do it's kind of a two-person job just because of the awkwardness and length of it um, but you can remove them if you want again you've got the padding on there slam latch so again just safer for you safer for the horse when we're going in to actually load and then this back divider this one here telescopes so again i've got it shrunk down so i can actually shut these rear doors so again i can have everything over if this was a solid it would actually be in the opening and then i'd have actually actually you know set it off the wall and then shut the rear doors but as you can see now we'd have all this wasted space so you've got the telescoping at the rear you've got four two-way rough fence one above each horse so again we can manipulate airflow through here with our drop windows our bus windows on hip wall and then those themselves and then you've got four led lights again on a switch as well so we can run these interior lights run our exterior lights and then over on driver's side this will give you a good look at those drop windows down just like the tack doors i was telling you about that's framework between the edge and the window itself so a lot stouter they're not prefab and then you get these nice heavy duty jail bars that can drop as well and then they've got the screens on them but those are real easy to remove if you're not wanting those on there or if you got somebody that's gonna be messing with these tearing them up you can take them out really easily but i do like the screens and the jail bars up when you're in transit uh, you know rocks road debris bugs flying at horses especially at those high speeds um, you know we don't we, if we can eliminate anything from going in there let's go ahead and do that but again same thing real easy to use and shut real good seal just like on our tack doors there is a drip rail above each one of these so again creating um, you know I should say eliminating you know that moisture from right at the top getting into the these edges here and getting in there and freezing you can run with them down you know logan's got a really good cheater if you look to see you know where that actual latch is it's really up high you'd have to you know a lot of people would have to stand on this uh, running board to be able to reach up there but they have this cheater bar that actually you know releases it easy to drop down uh, so for somebody that's a little bit shorter again not having to reach clear up there that's a nice little feature that they have on that as well you've got your load light on the top rail as well and then you can kind of see some of those button lights button lights have come standard uh, for the marker lights in 2022 i should say on the 2022 models um, i really like them it's a cleaner look it's a smaller light but it does put off quite a bit of lighting itself and then over here on the driver's side here's our second door again it mirrors the other side so we have our swing out 
four tier saddle rack our blanket pole rack on the door brush tray on the door again with it swinging out again it it mirrors the other side of the trailer so it gives you the ability to, again to saddle unsaddle on either side of this trailer without having to go all the way around so this trailer just showed up we'll get it pictured we don't expect it to last long these guys typically don't so if you're interested in it i want you to reference this stock number again this is a 2022 logan coach bullseye four horse gooseneck stock number is 5n210576 so give us a call anybody on the sales team can help you out we have this one available today we have others on order but they are going fast uh, we do have some different tack options as well we've got three horses on order so we can look at some different versions uh, if, if you're not specifically looking for a four horse but give us a call that number is 303-684-3400 thanks for tuning in have a good day